Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crossword Radio. This is your enigmatic host, The Brain, and today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. This is the New Yorker crossword, and today's is constructed by Caitlin Reed. Friday is the New Yorker's easy day. Um, there was a recent change to their website. This little symbol over here used to be um, used to indicate how difficult the crossword was going to be. There's a little temperature gauge, and then his emotion would change, as with the color of the pen. Um, anyway, if you're not aware, New Yorker crosswords have reverse difficulty. Is what Monday is their hardest day, and Friday is their easy. Um, uh, they're all themeless. Anyway, <clears throat> let's dig in. Caitlin Reed. Okay, oop, I forgot to click. You always gotta click. Okay. What an artisan practices. Maybe a trade? Alicia Moore, a.k.a. Pink, maybe? Comic Sans or Papyrus. Those are fonts, so... Um, that's obviously wrong. They practice a craft, maybe, which still has an A in the same place, so I still like AKA. Architectural style dating back to 15th century Britain. Is this Tudor? Heads up. Look out. Ah, can't type. Okay. A sacred tribal emblem, maybe is a totem. Home of the Magic, Orlando Magic, the or the NBA team. Bit of knitting. A loop? Is that a knitting term, a loop? A single could be a one, like a one dollar bill. Elusive feline, whose name comes from Quechua. Elusive. A puma? Traditional Thanksgiving centerpiece, a cornucopia. People who set an example are role models. Okay, off discarded part of an apple is the core. Gray areas, uh, you know, morally gray areas, for example. The O of the NFL's OBJ. I have no idea. A bugling beast. Bugling. Could this be a U? A beast. I'm not sure. What does it mean for an animal to bugle, to make a bugling sound? Enter one's account credentials. Maybe log in. Looks like maybe Odell. Oh, an elk. I guess elks bugle. They certainly have very unusual calls. Okay. We were just talking about you. Speak of the devil. Okay. Essential oils. Piglet's mom is a sow. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no fair, had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very Fuzzy Wuzzy. Okay. Test for a PhD seeker. GRE. Generalized requirements for education. Um, waste with a way. Is this like fretter away? What is this? Like some concerns. Twist out of shape. Not sure about that. <clears throat> Not sure about that either. Okay. Hit the dirt. Hit the dirt. Maybe dig. When there's a question mark, it means it's some kind of pun or wordplay, and therefore you're not... Um, the surface kind of nominal reading of the clue is not what you're looking for, really. So to hit the dirt is to, like, duck down, you know. If, you know, hit the dirt because you're trying to duck from something that's going to hit you in the head or something like that. Um, but uh, with the with the question mark, I think we're not we're not talking about that. We're talking about literally hitting dirt, so maybe digging. Okay. You're up for anything. Good game. Helped. Could be aided. A mid-sized car is a sedan. Title character sought in a 2003 Pixar film. That's Nemo from Finding Nemo, of course. An impersonal assistant. That must be talking again. We have another question mark. Must be talking about Siri, who is, you know, a digital personal assistant. But she's impersonal because she's not a real person. 
abbreviation on a transcript. Hmm, GPA, probably. Your grade point average. If your troubles or your ales, yep. Yoink, give me that. June celebration of the LGBTQ community. Pride Month, yes. Needed after, oh, need after a blowout, maybe. Um, if you blow out your tire, you might need a tow. Well, you will need a tow. Or a new wheel. Carries debt. O's. Weaver transformed into a spider by Athena. Hmm. To a spider. It's like Daphne somehow. Def. Hmm. Contemporary of Fidel. Contemporary. Headwear for Mr. Peanut and Scrooge McDuck are top hats. A real mouthful. Question mark. Hmm. Uh, is this going to be... What is this going to be? Hmm. Uh, some kind of deck. Something deck. Hmm. Another something deck. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Uh, fantastic. Wow, great. Like some concerns. Ending in G is a little weird. Because it's clearly not ending in I-N-G. That's not it. So what is that? Hmm. Twist out of shape. Don't know. Um, let's get back. Let's see maybe this upper right corner. Divided Asian Peninsula is Korea, North and South Korea. Noggin is your head. Another slang for your head is your melon. Took back. Hmm. Consistency of character. Reindeer with a nose for navigation. Of course, that is a pun about Rudolph. Consider this network is NPR. Hauled around is toted. Even something. Consistency of character, like an even keel. Um, took back is revoked. You can revoke someone's privilege, for example. Device for treating anaphylaxis is an EpiPen. Anti-cruelty org. I mean, guess that's PETA. Something is passe. It's sort of uh, against social norms. A uh, tiny bug is a gnat. Distinctive vibe could be an aura. And the free of. If you see a clue with the parentheses, parentheses there, the word in parentheses means... In order to to you know help us get the definition, you take the of and you put it after this word too. So I think this is rid. So rid of, free of, you know, are are synonyms. But so you could say that free is a synonym of rid. It's just a little bit less obvious um, unless you have that of. And usually on the easier days like Friday for New Yorker or Monday for New York Times, they'll put these there to to help. No idea. Uh, native name of Easter Island is, I think I have heard of this, Rapa Nui. Catsuit is a unitard. Passe could be dated. Hmm. The Old Man in the Sea, Medgar, Evers Medgar, Medgar Evans. It's either G-E-D or G-R-E, I think it must be G-R-E. Consistency of character, even... Whew, can't think. Tater is a slang for a t potato, and so is a spud. Tart fruit used to flavor some gins. Is slow is a slow berries. Ballerina's knee bend is a plie. Preserves in a brine, perhaps. Maybe pickle or cures. Okay. Twist out of shape. Contort. All right, finally. 
Maybe a tarot deck of cards. Ariadne is a Greek god. Hmm. Okay. Tooth. Or maybe teeth. Che Guevara. Arachne. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, tape deck. Foot the bill. If you foot the bill, you pay. Oh, you treat. Oh, let me treat. I'm treating. Okay. Consistency of character. Even tenor, I guess. I haven't heard that phrase. Like some concerns. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know. Big name in chocolate, maybe Godiva? Oh. This could be log on as well as log in. Maybe going concerns? Hmm. Fritter away. Order in the court, all rise. That is like an order given in court. Attach a patch, say, could be to sew. And how do I ever? They might pop up on a website, pop up ads, probably. And then what is this? Seedaw? Metaphor for wild fluctuations? Oh, a seesaw. Preserves, cures. Okay. There we go. Uh, all right. Oh, that was it. Uh, that was the Friday New Yorker by Caitlin Reed. Uh, that'll do it for the brain. I will see you uh, possibly tomorrow, if not Sunday, for the New Yorker cryptic. Those are always fun. If you haven't uh, seen a cryptic puzzle before, you should check it out because they are completely different. Um, and every clue is basically its own little puzzle. Uh, anyway, that'll do it uh, for the brain. And I will see you later. Bye.